Give up. Because your head's still attached to your shoulders! Sloppy work, Captain. You know, I've changed my mind. About what? I think I'm gonna cut out your tongue before I cut off your head. That way, I don't have to listen to you whining bitches complain! Come on. You know a man in your position should really choose his words more carefully. What position is that? Marcus! Marcus! What do you think you're doing? How dare you attack a nun of the man? Mira, get out of the way! Mira, get back! Get back! Damn it, go! Go! Easy, boy, easy! I just want the goal! Senor, surely you are exaggerating. You have seized over 20,000 acres of land, all in the last six months. All through non-payment of taxes, I might hasten to add. Of course, I understand these matters completely. How perceptive of you. But some of the other dons are not as understanding. But they have you to look to for guidance and support. If anyone can come, then it is Don Gaspar Hidalgo. But I might be more convincing if I had something at stake. I'm afraid you are losing me. If I was part of the bigger picture, say perhaps a partner. My partner? Oh, not my idea, you understand. Perhaps this is one of your lovely wife's suggestions. Come to think of it. Vera did mention something about Come on, give me a hand, give me a hand here. Boy, take the horse. Take her. Oh, oh my God, my touch. Carefully. She's been attacked. I don't know if attacked is exactly the right word. Who did this? Did you see? Indeed, Capitan. Who would want to destroy one of God's loveliest creatures? Well, um, I them shot. There's Queen of Swords. We must take care of the doctor. Come on, hurry. Hurry. We get out. Hurry, hurry! I didn't get the gold. Gold? You're lucky you got away with your life. But the Garcias can't pay their taxes without the Queen's help. I know that. 
And Montoya will take their hacienda. You mustn't blame yourself. And I had the gold in my hand. Till Vera showed up. Now she's hurt. Poor girl. Richard sleeps with her. And he uses her. Bastard. Well, this is one time. I can't wait to see him get what's coming to him. Help me. I have to go into town. I'm doing everything I can, senor. Doctor, I don't care what it costs. I'm a rich man. I'll pay you anything. Just make her better. I don't understand, senor. Your wife's case is very unusual. There are no broken bones to mend. Vera's in a coma. So, I'm supposed to just wait? It's up to her now. She may wake up at any moment. Or she may not wake up at all. And people wonder why I keep raising taxes. It takes all my resources to fight this demon from hell. You're saying the Queen of Swords attacked Vera? Imagine, assaulting innocent women. What next? Kicking small children? How horrifying. Now, did you say Vera told you all this? No, no, no. The poor creature is still unconscious. I'm sorry to hear that. Dr. Helm is attending her. Apparently, he's hopeful. Thank God. But if Vera can't speak, how do you know it was the Queen of Swords? It was Captain Grisham. He saw the attack with his own eyes. Really, Colonel, I must say, it's hard to imagine that one woman... Remember, Senorita, she is no woman. She is an evil spirit who threatens the very destiny of this whole Pueblo. Well, Colonel, at least we can take comfort in knowing that men of honor such as yourself and the gallant captain are here to protect us. Even now, Grisham is giving thanks for his narrow escape. Really? Mm-hmm. Shall we? Hmm. Okay, look, I know we haven't exactly been on the best of terms or anything lately, but uh, I got a little favor to ask. Your prayers are answered. Here I am. Great. Ah. Ah. Care to make a donation? Not really. Remember who's watching. Want to make a good impression, don't you? Just on the off chance we're not going to burn in the eternal fires of hell. Well, anything would be better than today. You lied and blamed me for Vera's accident. Are you praying for forgiveness? Yeah, sure, okay. Or is it because if she dies, you'll be guilty of murdering Adon's wife? You see, either way, you take the heat. So from where I'm sitting, believe it or not, it's just kind of a win-win situation. You really are a bastard. Yeah. Kill her! Come on, come on, gentlemen. Two against one? What kind of odds are those for a lady? Gentlemen. Son of a bitch! Sorry. The queen was within your grasp, defiling our church, and still she escapes. Believe me, sir, I share your outrage. If I had had my way, I would not have had a mere 20 men chasing the queen. I would have had 200! Then you must get 200. Get a thousand. Are you sure that is what you want? Are you mad? Even now, my petal lies at death's door. Track the queen down. Kill her. I don't care what it takes. Then act, senor. Take up the sword and smite our enemy. What is this? 
It is a document granting me the power to declare martial law. Martial law? Just imagine. Every able-bodied man, rancheros, farmers, all conscripted into my army, and all with one aim in mind, death to the queen. I need to gather a council of dons. Now is not the hour for hesitation. But to grant one man such power, there are many questions. You are wrong, Gaspar. There is only one. How much do you love your wife? And I owe it all to the Queen. Because of her attack on Signore Hidalgo, I will have an army of hundreds. The entire town will be in the palm of my hand. Even the dons will have to bend to my will now. Vain in your next popping game. <sighs> Always the killjoy, huh? Okay, let me ask you something. Um, hypothetically speaking, of oh, course. Dear. I always get nervous when you use words of more than three syllables. Okay, let's just say, you know, for argument's sake, that, uh, that the Queen didn't really attack Vera. Now, why on earth would I want to do that? Well... Well, because Vera might just wake up and tell the truth. Which would be? Well, that... That I was trying to get to the Queen of Swords and that... Her horse got in the way, and, and she kind of got thrown, um, sort of, you. Look, you know, I didn't mean for her to get hurt or anything. You fool. Just when things were so beautifully set in motion. What's the worst that could happen here? I mean, really. Oh, well, let us just consider that, shall we? Hypothetically speaking, to employ Capitan Grisham's phrase of the week, Senor Hidalgo finds out. You are branded at least a coward, perhaps even a murderer. My commission is revoked. I am sent back to Spain in disgrace. All right. All right. Get the picture. Unless... OK, I'll bite. Unless the lovely Vera does not wake up. Oh, no, hey, come on, you're not gonna kill her, are you? No, no, no. Of course I'm not going to kill her. Good. You are. Office. You were badly hurt. Uh, uh, why do I have <laughs> feathers in my mouth? You're sick. You're very sick. Uh, I've 
remember now. I was on my horse. Yeah, take this. Mm -hmm. It'll help you sleep, okay? Mm -hmm. There we go. A little more, a little more. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. But I just woke up. I know, but you're very uh, sick. It was you! tickles my curiosity. Which part of kill her did you not understand? We don't want to kill her. Really? No, I do. Really? We just want her silenced, right? So Capitan Grisham's master plan is what? Keep her drugged for the next 50 years? No, just a few days. I mean, by that time, when she wakes up, it'll be too late. You'll have the whole town under your control, everybody in it. Not now! Grim. Ah, Senor Hidalgo. Always a pleasure. You're done? Senor. The dance have voted. You have your martial law. A wise decision. Our men are at your disposal immediately. And with my leadership and their help, I shall catch the queen and kill her. Oh, by the way, how is your lovely wife? Any change? Sadly, there has been no improvement. Tragic. Yeah. Truly tragic. Come on, lady, right back of the wagon. Going for a little ride. Oh, we are farmers. You're not farmers anymore. We're soldiers. They give it like a promotion. Well, well. Bravo. Well done. You're next. I don't think so. Captain, do nothing. You know, I'm not really in the mood. You're not gonna fight me? Look, it's the dawn of a new day. Rancheros, soldiers, farmhands, and each one with a bullet with your name on it. Yeah, well, don't buy any flowers yet. Ah! Oh, it's the Queen of Swords! Martial law, huh? It's a beautiful thing. Let's go! Yeah. Take it easy. What do you expect? You have a tree growing in your hair. Will you try rolling down a hundred foot gully without ruining your hair? There must have been a dozen of them. It just came up out of nowhere. Maybe it's time we went back to Spain. What are you... Ow! Oh, stay still. Just for a vacation. I don't need a vacation. The queen does. Everywhere she goes, they'll be looking for her. And it's not just Montoya's soldiers anymore. Tell me about it. Every ranchero within 20 miles is in on the game. But running away is not the answer. Don't think of it as running away. Think of it as just... I know. A vacation. If only Vera would wake up. She knows the queen didn't attack her. Uh, 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 not yet, okay, sweetie, not yet. Just take a bit. Just a bit. Hi, Doc. What the hell are you doing? Who, me? No, I was talking to the lady in the coma. Oh. Ah, humor. <laughs> Part of that famous bedside manner of yours, huh? Answer the question. Well, I was, uh... I was just passing by, so I figured I'd uh, check on Vera, you know. Okay. You didn't sneak in through the back door, did you? Well, you're busy with your patients. I don't want to disturb you. It's very considerate. Guilty as charged. How's she doing? Just 
on the off chance that you are genuinely concerned, there's been no change. Hmm. Well, you're the doc, huh? Guess that's why you get to wear this fancy microscope. Stethoscope. Yeah, whatever. Thank you for calling. Okay, well, uh, looks like you got everything firmly under control here, so I'll just be on my way. I'm gone. Pleasant surprise, but I'm afraid you find me unprepared for visitors. You'll be relieved then to hear that this is not a social call. You are aware, Senorita, that I have been obliged to declare martial law. Oh, yes, I've heard. Poor Colonel. So much responsibility resting on your shoulders. Ah, brings me shivers just thinking about it. Which is why I come to you for support. Me? Your rancheros will join hundreds of others as conscripts to my army. An army? What for? To find the queen and to end her reign of terror. But if you take my men, I'm left all alone, with no protection from her. In times of crisis, we must all make sacrifices. I beg you, don't ask this of me. I would hate to refuse a request from my coronel. It is not a request. It is a military order. You have 24 hours to comply. You either hand over your men or you hand over the deed of your land. It is up to you. Adios. The men want to know what they should do. Tell them they should keep working. What about Montoya's order? What about it? Shouldn't we at least play alone for now? No. Might buy us a few days. <sighs> Marta, I won't put myself in a position where I might have to fight my own men. What are you going to do? I haven't got a clue. All I know is that Vera's the key to this whole mess. And we're running out of time. Are you sure there's been no improvement? No, Doctor. Yes. Doctor? Oh, I'm sorry. Hello, Rosa. Yes, sir? Senorita Alvarado. Are you ill? Me? No. Came to check on Vera. You and half the rest of the town. Beg your pardon? There's been no change. Now, if you're not ill, I have a patient here who is and who needs my help. Why, so please sit down. Of course, how rude of me. Let's just wait right over here until you're finished. Um, now, Rosa, exactly how much of the laudanum did you take? Just what you told me. And the headaches? The pain is still bad. I didn't sleep at all. How is that possible? Maybe your medicine doesn't work. An ounce of laudanum would knock out a person twice your size. Something wrong, doctor? It's water. Is everything all right? Insane! 
A little too much coffee this morning, Doc. <clears throat> you keep your damn hands off my patients, or by God, I swear. You're wrinkling my shirt. <laughs> human drug viewer here now go. He could have killed her! Doctor, what you are saying is most alarming. Well, what are you going to do about it? Guards! Seize the doctor. What? Escort him forcibly to the jail. Has everyone gone crazy? What the hell are you arresting me for? Quite simply, my conscience commands it. Oh, I can't wait to hear this one. You are a civil servant operating under a state of martial law. I am commander of the army. I cannot allow the ravings of one unhinged individual to jeopardize the safety of the whole community. Oh. I don't know what you're up to, Montoya. Your words sting, but I cannot say that they shock. You have a history of resistance and protest. It is well known. All right. <laughs> I'm sure on some far distant horizon this has some point, so let's just get to it, shall we? Merely that treason is an offence punishable by hanging. Treason? So before you go about publicly accusing my captain of the guard, reflect on that. No. Oh, I thought it was this. Uh -huh. Translation, please. It's worth a try. Ephedra is a powerful stimulant. Let's see if it counteracts the drug. It's not working. I can see that. Took ever more. Dangerous. Too much and her heart couldn't take it. So we failed. Oh, ye yeah, of little faith. Do you think we can move her? Like a sleepwalker. Give me a hand. Someone needs a good packing. Marta, don't worry. The herbs are working. La, 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 la. and she went back to her own self. My, my, senor, that certainly is a large avocado. Marta, what the hell was in those herbs? What now? Vera? Vera! Go! 
I'll meet you at La Luna Canyon. Get going, now! The doctor's in jail right now, but if you've come for a physical, bend over and cough. Where's Vera? Vera went to see a man about an avocado. What? Long story. So what are you gonna do now? You're just gonna kill me in cold blood? Why not? Well, for starters, it's not your style. I hate it when you're right. Turn around. You know, we've done this before. I know. Come on, you know the drill. Hey, what are you... You made it. I was beginning to wonder. I had to take the long way around. Those ranchero patrols are sweeping every hill, every canyon. How's Vera? She'll be awake in a moment. Better leave her with me. I don't want her to see us together. Right? And you? Be careful of the patrols. Don't worry. I intend to. Congratulations. You're awake. Oh. Uh, where's Marcus? You mean the guy who drugged you? Why would he do that? To keep you quiet. So the whole town can think that I attacked you. <laughs> but you didn't attack me. Well, we both know that, but nobody else does. Oh, yeah. I, I don't understand anything. What's going on? Vera? Santa Elena is under martial law. Dr. Helm's in jail and in danger, and your husband's been tricked to giving up his power. Gaspar, no! Oh. All because Grisham lied, oh. but you could put a stop to it. If Marcus thinks he can get away with this... Good girl. That's the attitude I was looking for. Fine. Your hacienda's a half mile up the road. I can't risk running into your rancheros. Leave everything to me. Vera? The road's that way. I know that. Delighted to hear that your wife has recovered. And to know the Queen of Swords didn't attack my petal, that she only fell from her horse. Well, what are you trying to say? The Dons agreed to martial law only because they believed your captain's story. Now that we know it was... Somewhat less than accurate. Exactly. That is why I must ask for our document back. And with all due respect, I regret that I cannot comply. What? How? The Dons have entrusted me with a great responsibility. To casually cast their concerns aside would be an insult. This is Please tell the Dons that the Coronel has always continued to have only their best interests at heart. Corporal? See, si, Coronel. See si Don Hidalgo safely to his buggy. And do give my regards to your lovely wife. I warn you, Coronel. You have not heard the last of this. Did you hear that? Vera lied to her husband. What a woman. And she will never be able to tell him the truth without incriminating herself. So I guess we're golden then, right? Not quite. There is still one person who could reign on my glorious parade. Wow, Queen of Swords, but... No. The Doctor. If Helm... Or to speak, I'm afraid people might listen. 
And since your lies and deception got me into this situation... Okay, okay, okay. What do you want? The doctor has been looking a little pale of late. Have you noticed? Perhaps a walk in the country? A little sunshine, huh? A little fresh air? A little restorative bullet to the head? Yep. It might work wonders for us all. Doc, I hate your guts. You hate mine. Oh, come on, Captain. You're not stupid enough to commit murder for Montoya. Murder? Me? No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. You see, the Queen of Swords is the one that's going to kill you. And just in case they don't believe me, I got a couple witnesses. Huh? I'm biased as they may be. I need to get back. You really are that stupid. Start walking, Doc. Come on. Come on. If you want, you can try to run. You never know, I might miss you. Killer! Look what I found. Drop your sword and he doesn't die. You only have one bullet left. Wouldn't you rather shoot me? What are you, crazy? Run! Shut up, Doc! Now, she's got a point here. I gotta always shoot her and slit your throat later, right? <laughs> Thank you. Son of a bitch! <laughs> one in the book. Cheap shot. Yeah, you fell for it. Looks like the tables have finally turned. Sure looks that way. What a shame. Any last requests? As a matter of fact, yes. Blood is so hard to get out of lace. Do you mind if I duck before the doctor shoots you? Surprise. Look what I found. Won't be needing this anymore. You know, one of these days, you guys... Careful. You're getting a twitch in one eye. I want to see a doctor about that. Have a nice walk back to town. You saved my life, doctor. Just returning the favor? I'm gonna make sure that bastard Grisham gets what's coming to him. I'm not so sure he should. Why? Vera. You said she was back safely with her husband. With her husband who doesn't know anything. You expose Grisham, you expose Vera and their affair. Imagine what that would do to her life, her whole world. So Grisham and Montoya just keep on getting away with it. All I could say is you hold Vera's life in your hands. Again. You're an amazing woman. That's not an answer. Maybe some loves should be kept secret. Oh, come on. I said I'm sorry. For what? Sorry I caused your accident. And? I'm sorry I lied to you about the Queen of Swords. 
and oh come on okay All right stupid little game look i'm sorry for drugging you how can we just forget about the whole thing oh give me a break here i was under a lot of stress why didn't you say so I know just the thing to relax you. You do? <sighs> See, now that's a little more like it, right? Finally. But first, Ugh. you must stop this martial law. What? How? Tear out the paper the one Gaspar signed. I can't do that. Then I tell Gaspar what really happened. He wouldn't do that. I wonder what would happen to an officer who assaulted and drugged his wife. Okay. Okay. That's my good little Capitan. <clears throat> Poor Colonel. And you were having so much fun. Your army was getting so big. It was all so exciting. Mark my words, the Dons will regret their actions. The Queen of Swords is still a blight on all our lives. But be assured, I will not rest until I see her head on a pike in the village square. Good day. Okay. He's right. It is a good day. No more martial law. The Coronel is living. Kushum and Bear are back together again. With her husband none the ways. <laughs> Dr. Helm's back in his office. Everything's back to normal. Normal? Well, as good as it's gonna get. Ha <laughs>